<laughs> well, his skin, dude. No, his tag is Sephiroth. Ken. Whatever, no. That's his full tag. Whatever. Nobody calls him Sephiroth. Ken. Yeah, I, people call him Sephiroth. I'm gonna call him Sephiroth. Ken. <laughs> Next time I see him, be like, hey, what's up, Sephiroth? Ken. He'd be like, hey, what's up? Because that's his tag. Whatever. That's what it is, dude. No, I'm not down. Okay, all right. Well, okay, I, so I, we're, I we're in this. I could already, you know. Sheik versus Floaty mid tier. <laughs> AK Sheik wins this matchup. Yeah, this is a pretty good matchup for Sheik. Yeah. Uh, Doc definitely has uh, some stuff, though. His punish game on Sheik is pretty solid if you can get the chain grab. Yeah. I was expecting a bit more uh, pill usage. I guess that's not really a thing in this matchup. Maybe like Sheik's projectiles is way better, so you can't really get away with it. Yeah, it's kind of tough because the the, a the angles that the pills fly at are not always super useful against Sheik because she likes to go on platforms. You know, she can kind of easily beat the pills out, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh. Oh no, that's melee. That's oh. some good melee. <laughs> that down B by the edge was really risky though from yeah. Dr. Payne because you just hit Doc out of that, you know? Yeah, it's it's not safe. But he makes I carry up because I carry thought he'd help you immediately. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. All right. I feel like Doc touch guarding on cheek isn't bad. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You just fair. <laughs> or you can cape and then yeah, fair. Yeah, cape. Yeah, cape's really cool. You can cape and cape again. Yeah. It's kind of like twice. the it's kind of like the fifty fifty right. Like you, if they like go high and try and shift the ledge, you just like pull and then cape them and they, yeah, yeah. They die. A lot of stuff you can do. So I think. Dr. Payne's kind of got a feel for the way Icarger's playing the ground game. So he's able to find his way in more, and he's kind of getting a feel for when Icarger likes to throw out stuff to prevent, you know, Dr. Payne from moving in, so... Yeah. Like, that spot dodge, that wasn't you know, just random, it was a read, because he's like, okay, he's probably going to do something here. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Payne always finds himself in the spot dodge battles. I think that's a Mario Bros. thing, more than anything. They have really good spot dodges. Mm. Also, uh, Dr. Payne is, like, his combos are cool, because he'll just, like, randomly, like, insert an F smash. It's it's really interesting. It, it like I play him against him all the time and it like always catches me off guard. He'll like string you and he'll like act like he's uh like continuing for soft hits and he'll just like F smash you and you're like yeah. in an edge guard position. The yeah, I mix ups. Yeah and then Doc will just abuse that because his edge guarding is sick. Yeah and the smash is really strong. Yeah. Ooh, what a fair so Dr. Payne getting all played on the platform is just kind of expected this matchup, you know. You can see this is what I mean by the post not being that useful. Yeah. It's Sheik's so mobile and versatile on the platforms that it's kinda Yeah. Eh. Oh there's that F smash you yeah. yeah. Oh Ooh, that was hmm. That was heartbreaking. <laughs> I gotta say that uh, black outfit on Doc, we just kind of blend in the background. Yeah, the that's like the the next strat. Like that's the next level strat. Pick colors that blend in with the environment. Come on, Dreamland, I always pick green. <laughs> you also want to make sure that the TV is full of the brightest on it. Oh yeah, like get the get the see. contrast going, you know, mm -hmm. for sure. I feel like I Krager should be camping more on top platform. Uh, I play Luigi, so it's a little bit different because Luigi has like a lot more mobility on the ground. Yeah. But uh, like when I play against number forty-seven and Harriet, yeah. I always get camped on like on platforms. Like it's it's really irritating to deal with. It, it's really uh, fast platform movement is like super difficult to deal with as like a floaty mid tier. It's kind of like he could pressure from the top platform once Doctor Payne had more percent. You know, because like it, basically when you're on the top platform like that, you know you're controlling like the top center, yeah. center stage, right above center stage. On a separate plane or whatever. Uh, so you, when you come down with something, it has to have a, a tangible threat. And Doc kind of hold down against a lot of Sheik stuff really early. Yeah. So. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. CC. Uh, Sheik gets uh, CC pretty hard uh, by like everyone. Yeah. So <laughs> pretty much the um, pretty much the entire cast. Yeah. So once again, you see, I Krager, He's starting out with an early lead, and we'll see how Doctor Payne adapts. Yeah. I think he's using more pills to cut off movement as opposed to actually trying to hit a carrier, which is really important. Because she's more mobile. Yeah. A lot of times it's just like the threat of the hitbox being there rather than like actually hitting them. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Up air strings. Super cool. Okay. The grab should be. Oh. Uh, Alright. I feel like that was uh, an up air. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Sick. 
Actually, I think. Oh, what? Wait, that was not intentional. Oh, that couldn't have been intentional. You see, no, that was definitely. You see, Doctor Fade grin after that too. Yeah. He's like, I, I got him. <laughs> I got him so. Oh, <laughs> right, here's the chain grab. Oh. Okay. An honorable. Yeah. Wait, does, does, so does Doc have a chain grab? I know Mario does. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure the percentage on it though. Uh, Doogie Sandwich knows if he would ever release the information. <laughs> but uh, he he held all his Doc secrets because he didn't want people to play Doc because he said Doc was a bad character. He's not great. He's, he's, he's not a good character. He's an alright character. He's alright. I feel like he's alright. I feel like you have to like solidly be a better player to like do well with Doc. Like he seems like really. I don't know, he seems limited. Yeah. But I feel like players with like decent fundamentals like that are like solidly better, better than the opponent can like really abuse him. A lot of people are trying to say now that they think he's worse than Mario. Oh that yeah. <laughs> he's worse than Mario overall, because he's you know less versatile than Mario is. He, really? He's better at some things than you know than Mario, but I I guess. There's that trade off. I think at that point it doesn't really matter as much. There's more outplay potential with Mario, I think. Hmm. Oh. That may be true. That's how Mango, that's how Mango feels. So, uh, <laughs> honestly, looking at the results of the characters uh, over time, Mario's doing a lot better now. That is true. I don't. Even, but to be fair, I don't really see any Doc players. So I guess maybe that's just because they don't make it in the top six four because they're playing Doc. So I don't maybe, know. Maybe I'm mean, saying. It's like an OT, OTG. Kyle definitely makes me think Mario's ridiculous. Green Mario. He's one of our a rookie Koopa Troopa. Yeah. They're all doing pretty good. They're they're really cool. Yeah, I can see Mario being better than Doc. My character's kind of gotten some incidental kills on uh, Dr. Payne. He's kind of got some weird hits. Kind of like that, you know, one down smash said. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Payne got out of nowhere. It's kind of just been happening. I, I feel like that's kind of how the matchup goes sometimes. You know, Sheik sometimes just does stuff and Dr. Mario will just get hit and die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it's... Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel it? like... Yeah. The down smash. Jesus. All right. Well, moving on to game three. Where do you think we're going? Wherever <laughs> his heart desires. I have I have no idea. I I'm not too familiar with Doc Sheik. Oh, there you okay, go. Okay, stadium. Sick. You kind of see. I like that they both have their accessories, right? That cricket has the yellow hat. Dr. Payne has the uh, head, like earphones. Yeah, but it, it doesn't really it. it doesn't really show. Unfortunately, I feel like if Payne like also had a hat. Oh, something yeah. he'd be uh, doing a lot better. You know, you gotta look at the play good. I think it's just it really the, helps. The way the headphones are bumped up on his neck look like, a little like a like a bow tie, like a, from the right angle. It was like oh, one yeah. angle head looked like a tiny bow tie, and I was like, oh, sick. Let's That's go. cute. <laughs> oh, all right. That's nice. All right. Our sequence. Oh. Yeah, back here's really good edge guarding cheek too. Yeah, I feel like actually both these characters have solid edge guarding tools against the other. Uh, I have a hard time edge guarding. The Mario Bros. Because like they just have so many weird, like they have so many ways to mix up their timings when they uppy, like holding the double jump. And I'm not sure if Dot has height on his down B. I think Mario does. Uh, I get confused. I feel like one of them doesn't. Yeah, I think Mo Dr. Mario might not. Okay. Well, it might be less so for Dot, but it, it's they have plenty of tools to recover. They can't recover from like super far away. Yeah. But yeah. they they can definitely like mix you up really effectively. Especially if the DI's good, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh boy, the chase down. I hate this transformation. Dan Pokemon <laughs> Stadium 2017. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it. I hate this transformation. Look at this. Your little break time. This is not quality you can melee. Relax. Oh my god. What's wrong with this? I just want to play the game. I just want to watch people play the game. So uh, one of the someone uh, I met in Twitch chat or I talked to in Twitch chat who was saying how he thought this stage, this stage was the coolest because you, you get to play on so many stages at one time. I mean, that's true. That's fair. I mean, you can do that with FOD. Well, the, the thing is, uh, he comes from, he was a, t a 2D fire player. Oh. So, he, you know, he was like, oh, the background's basically changed because the aesthetics are so different. And they all look, you know, pretty cool. They do look very cool. Yeah. So, I don't know, that's, that's nice. I never thought about that way. Yeah. I guess that is cool. Like, especially the, like, 2D fighter oh. players. Oh. Okay. I could have tried so hard to get around that cape, but we in there, boys. Oh, okay, now with the down air, that was sick. I gotta say, I know Dark Spain's punishes when uh, Dark Kirk is landing on stage with a B haven't been that good. They they haven't? I mean, what do you think? 
got Dot can do besides Forward Smash? I mean, some of the, he could just fair a lot of the time, just maybe start a combo. But he's also not doing things, you know, like he's not setting up the back air chains. Our Kriegers DI has been pretty good to deal with that, but still, I mean, he, he can position himself a little better. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, oh, down throw. Yep. Okay. Mix up. Classic. Gonna slide off and then tech. I say Dr. Payne's credit though, he definitely seems like he has a, a good read on Icrager's general timings. Yeah, okay, there's four. Icrager has been able to get away with, you know, aerial F tilt, aerial grab, aerial jab. Yeah, like the, yeah, it's, uh, like CC's just really good against that. <laughs> like, or spot dodge. Like, or spot dodge, yeah. All fantastic options. I feel like Ooh. Sheik is like pretty what? soft. What? That was, that was not intentional. I, I There's no way that was intentional. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're going Zelda now. We in it. Oh, apparently Icraker is a dual main. Oh, sick. And okay. also main Zelda. So this is the, the last second change up. Oh, that. <laughs> the AC, the. <laughs> I showed up there retreating with Lano's sick. Okay. You know, I respect the idea of, of changing changing it up. I don't respect Zelda. <laughs> um, I mean, you should. Change is terrible. Yeah, not not great. But it's cool. It's a, it's a sudden switch up right at the end. You know, just yeah. when you think you have a read and everything, just when you think, you know, Dr. Crane's like, I'm in his head. You know, I got this. Suddenly. Yeah, this is a... Uh, <laughs> suddenly a significantly worse character. Yeah. Let the eye. Sick the eye. Cool. Well, at least he got the chance to change back. That was bad. <laughs> Tournament winner is super scary against Mario. Oh, this should be it. This is nope. slow I mean? roll. It's got the it's got the ledge dash. Yeah. Maybe call. he was like scared or something in the ledge dash. I know I get like pretty pretty nervous about it. Um, I guess so. On like game three scenarios. That's true. <laughs> Plus, like he's he's still in crouch cancel percent, so it's like okay, we're good. But it was like a guaranteed kill. Yeah. 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 Well. Oh. Dr. Payne cleans it up, but you can see, Dr. you know, I Krieger, you know, his matchup experience and knowledge did show through. Yeah. It was not easy for Dr. Payne.